India next week. I think that will be really fun. I'm looking forward to it. You're going to India? You have to be really careful because malaria is very serious there. Really? What should I do? Go to see the doctor and ask him for chloroquine phosphate. Chloroquine phosphate? I only know it is used to prevent and treat malaria. But how does it work? Are there any side effects? How does it affect my health? Let us tell you more about this medicine. Chloroquine is a drug used to treat and prevent malaria. Chloroquine can also treat a parasite called emmabiasis. This drug can be used on its own or used with other drugs that also prevent malaria. Chloroquine phosphate is sometimes used to treat some diseases that are caused by protozoans. First, do you know what is malaria? Yes, I know. Malaria is an infectious disease that is caused by protozoan parasites. This disease usually spread by a type of mosquito called Anopheles. Most of the patients that catches malaria are children, expectant mothers, tourists, and foreigners who have less immunization to the protozoan parasites. Malaria usually spreads in the tropical areas like Brazil, Malaysia, and Africa, and it is also widespread in Africa, Americas, and Asia. Also, the symptoms of malaria were described in ancient Chinese medical writings as far back as 2700 BC. Malaria was also widely recognized in Greece at 4th century BC and was the reason for a decline in population. In the Sasruta, a Sanskrit medical treatise, malaria and its symptoms were described and were traced back to insect bites. During the 2nd century BCE in China, a cure for malaria, the Qinghao plant, was recognized for its medical properties. The active ingredient of Qinghao, artemisinin, was found in 1971. Artemisinin is still an effective anti-malaria, especially when used with other medicines. Okay, now you know more about malaria. So, let me tell you some history of chloroquine. There are not many history records of chloroquine. What was being recorded was that chloroquine was first discovered by a German called Hans Andersag in 1934 while he was working in the lab. At this time, it was named Resoshin. Chloroquine wasn't recognized as a safe anti-malarial until 1946 by the British and US scientists. Let me ask you, how does chloroquine work and does it work well? Oh, I know. Chloroquine helps the body to prevent the development of malaria parasites in blood. It works by blocking the way the parasite breaks down human hemoglobin contained in red blood cells. This drug kills the malaria parasites. It can also treat and prevent P. falciparum, which is a type of saline mold that causes malaria. However, P. falciparum is resistant to chloroquine in many areas. Therefore, other medications must be used to successfully treat the disease. In addition, the location that occurred the disease and the resistance of malaria parasites affect how well will the chloroquine works. Do you know? Although chloroquine works effectively for malaria, there are also many side effects. Let me tell you a... No, no, no. I know. Let me tell you. Although chloroquine is an effective medicine on treating malaria, there are many side effects of it. Minor side effects are a difficulty of focusing, loss of appetite, diarrhea, dizziness, sleep disturbances, headaches, temporary hair loss. The severe effects can lead to accidents because chloroquine can cause visual disturbance like blurred and misty vision. Therefore, we should be more careful after we take this medicine. I only know a few things about how chloroquine affects on society. Although chloroquine is an effective medicine on treating malaria, it has many potentially serious side effects. Because malaria causes visual disturbances such as blurry vision, people who have recently taken the treatment should stay away from doing anything. Yes, especially driving and walking across roads. You should not drive as you will not be able to see the road clearly, which effectively leads to many traffic accidents. If you walk across the road after taking chloroquine, it may lead to an accident that may prove fatal. Oh no! Chloroquine sounds quite dangerous. Are there any other anti-malarials I can take? 
According to the Department of Health and Human Services, Centers for Disease Control and Prevention of the U.S. government, other recommended anti-malarial drugs include doxycycline, fluquin, and primaquin. However, the side effects are similar, and chloroquine is the cheapest, so that many people can afford it. Do you know? Chloroquine was once 95% effective to treat malaria. Now that it has been used for 25 years, there is a new strain of chloroquine-resistant malaria, which makes chloroquine almost useless now. Therefore, when going to places with this strain of malaria, or when treating this strain of malaria, you should treat it with emodiaquine, which is more effective. Aside from this, chloroquine is a very effective medicine to treat malaria. This treatment ensures that death rate is lower and slows down the infection rate, which in turn keeps the disease from spreading to other people and also prevents the disease turning epidemic or pandemic. Also, if the disease turns epidemic and infects the whole country, people will not be able to work and it really does affect the economy. Other effects of chloroquine in the society is on the environment. Some of the chemicals in this medicine can harm aquatic organisms. What other factors of society does chloroquine affect? Many people in Africa have a hard time with accepting this drug and their cultural values are holding them back. Not only that, but the lack of education these people get about chloroquine and other medicines also affect how many take the medicine. Do you know, overdosing chloroquine can also cause death within two and a half hours. Talking about overdosing, some drug dealers use chloroquine to be sold as cocaine, causing side effects and deaths happening. Also, due to the side effects of chloroquine, some armies and soldiers are not allowed to take the anti-malarial since it will affect their performance during a mission, causing less protection to the soldiers and leaving them in high risk of being infected by malaria. So, who makes money with it? Who buys this medicine? India is one of the major buyers of chloroquine phosphate. This is because India is one of the tropical areas where malaria is very serious. Malaria is widespread in India, so the government bought the medicine for its citizens to prevent or treat malaria. Many companies that produce chloroquine can make a lot of money by selling this drug. It is because there are many people that are infected with malaria in tropical areas and governments need a lot of medicine. Although chloroquine is cheap, by selling many chloroquine phosphates can earn much more money. So now you know more about chloroquine. Oh, really? Thanks for your help. Now, I know more about chloroquine and malaria. And I'm going to go to the doctor for some advice. Bye. Do you know? <laughs> I'm JT. Why? <laughs> I'm JT. I am JF. I'm Kelly. Disease control and prevention of the US government. Other recommended anti malarial drugs include. Oh my god, what the hell is that? Yes, especially driving and walking across roads. You should not drive as you'll be. Uh. Eat. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs>